Hello. Moses Mossop of Kenya is one of the greatest marathon runners of the modern era. He's going to be running the Volkswagen Prague Marathon on Sunday. But let's hear more about Moses, the man who's the second fastest marathon runner of all time, and his hopes for his career in the future. Moses, you're running in Prague. You're in this great city which has a fine tradition of distance running. What are your hopes for the marathon in Prague? Hey, my hope is to run very well on tomorrow because I'm prepared in Kenya because I have some challenges in Kenya for my injury knee. So after now, I'm feeling okay. So I hope everything's feel okay tomorrow. You've come back from quite a, a bad knee injury and uh, other leg injuries. So the last two or three years since you run that fantastic time in Boston, your debut in the marathon, two hours, three minutes and six seconds, uh, haven't been easy, have they? Yeah, it, it was not easy because it was a lot of uh, training, hard training that time. So after now, a little feel like I come down a little bit. After now, I wanted to focus again to run a uh, good time again better than before yeah. Just thinking about your life as an international athlete, you've been a, a very good track athlete and now you've moved to the marathon. Just maintaining that kind of life, the intensity of the training, is that hard? It's not hard because when you have a mentally in your mind, you have to have a discipline in your career because without discipline you can't stay for long. You can't stay a little, not a long time, yeah. Did you have to work at that discipline? You know, when you were coming up, when you were a younger athlete, making your name, did you have to work at that kind of self-discipline? Yeah, I worked because that time, when we were in Kenya, we, we suffer a lot when we were young men. After now, we have to look fear in where we are we, after now. So you have to maintain in it peacefully. How important has the advice been of uh, the Italian coach Renato Canova? He's a great admirer of your, your talent. Has he been a big help in your career? Yeah, I thank him a lot because he, after now, I'm saying thanks for about uh, Canova because he brings me from nowhere I have to where I am now. Yeah. Is there anything in particular that he did? Did, did he change your training? Did he emphasize certain aspects of training? Yeah, he changed my training, he changed my, uh, my career when I was in Kenya at that time. Oh, I, I don't know about the training, so I'm very happy about him. I'm very proud. Would you ever think of going back to the track? You're a very good 10,000 metre runner. Would you ever think of, of switching back to the track from the marathon? Yeah, I want now to go back because I want again to get a speed of a track. And then when I come to the uh, real marathon, I have a good speed. So I have to go back again to the track and then I get the, the speed. Yeah. So you would think of the, the track using that as a kind of building block. You wouldn't abandon the marathon. You'd look at it to, to help you run better marathons in future. Yeah, that's why I wanted to focus again to go back to the track. And then I get the uh, speed. Because when I was, when I'm now in a marathon, I have only endurance, no enough speed. So I wanted to go back again and to build it, and then to come back again when I'm strong. Uh, your best time was, of course, Boston. That debut, two hours, three minutes, and six seconds. Do you think, if all goes well, not just in Prague tomorrow, but just for the future, do you think you can get close to that kind of time again? That is why I'm saying I wanted to go back again to the track. Because when I wanted to get, uh, to get that speed, when, that time when I was uh, in, the, in the track, and then to come to the marathon, I was still having a good speed that time. So it's good to go back again where you, you, you lost, and then you, when you are coming back, you are very strong when you are coming to the marathon. Because that time we are in Boston, we didn't we are not allow us to go to the water at that time. So I wanted to go back again and then I improved. I'm still doing again. Yeah. Just thinking of Renato Canova, the coach again, uh, he says he expects a runner to break not just two hours three, but to be running low 202 in the not very far future. Um, 
Do you think that's feasible, whether it's just you or somebody else? Do you think it, we're going to see in the next few years somebody running 202? Yeah, we expect it because Kenyans are very strong now. Because they have uh, juniors, any vote can win. Because uh, I'm not saying me alone, but when you are, when you you believe yourself, you have to do it. And then the other person they believe themselves, they will do it. Yeah. Well, we hope you do it in Prague, in the Volkswagen Prague Marathon, uh, in about 24 hours' time. Moses, and all the best for your your return to top flight in the world of marathon running. Moses Mossop, thank you very much. Thank you very much.